Hi mom, happy birthday. I wish we could be there celebrating with you this year more than ever. Hi mom, happy birthday. Happy birthday. She's number one. We just all wanted to share a little bit about things that we love about you as a birthday surprise. Let's talk about your mom. <laughs> Let me tell you about <clears throat> Holly Ann Hilton Whitworth, Mrs. Potato. <laughs> Isn't that funny? Because my dad's like Mr. Potato. <laughs> so she's Mrs. Potato. Hey Jackie, what do you love about Grandma Whitworth? Do you love Grandma? What? What do you love about Grandma Whitworth? Because her um does lots of stuff and we'll just have home holdings and we get to hang out at home or school for a little bit and we get to make Ninja Turtle cookies. Can you tell me one of your favorite things about Grandma Whitworth? That she is always nice to me and when we go to her house, she um, tells us the story of Woody the Unicorn. Which really nice. Holly's in front of me in line and God is interviewing us to go to heaven. And if I don't see her going in, I'm gonna get out of line and start walking the opposite direction because I know I won't get any of their shit that we get in. I think you might be a robot that someone programmed to be like the perfect mom because you just run off of like grandchild juice and you don't ever slow down and I don't think you sleep when we're there but the house is always clean and there's always food on the table. I think it's funny that she has a really hard time being honest with anyone if she doesn't like anything because she just wants everything to be happy and positive all the time which is admirable, I think. I love how you always talk about protein and how when our bodies are grumpy, we need some protein in our bodies. I also love when a song comes on the radio that you guys have been zumba to or high fitnessing to, how you always have the dance moves and are breaking them out. And I love it. And I think you are the cutest mom ever. You are able to run on zero hours of sleep <laughs> and accomplish so many things that I couldn't even accomplish with like a full 10 hours of sleep. So you are, that is like your superpower. Maybe one day you'll get that sleep, but I don't know. Maybe if you get too much sleep, you can't accomplish as much. My mother-in-law is the best mother-in-law only because I'm the best son-in-law. Probably one of the most genuine a loving person and thoughtful person I have ever met. She's probably one of those people that you're like, even like in high school, you'd be like, if she was my mom, life would be so much easier and so much nicer. Just super thoughtful person. She's amazing. That's sweet. You're the best mom ever and we love you. We love you so much. Sorry that you are we're all isolated on your birthday today, but hope that you feel our love and know that we just think the world of you and could not have asked for a better mom and we love you so much and hope you have a really good day. Love you. Love you. Make more meals for your family than anyone I've ever met and you're all still skinny, so kudos to you. <laughs> mom, since the first time I met her, she's very caring, loving, She's a great example, and she always willing to serve everyone else before herself. That's very true. true. That's very so true. She was the best at that, and the kids love her the most because so, she's so sweet to them. Yeah. Um, how you are always thinking of others, especially your children and your grandchildren. You always have food planned out for us. You always have a schedule. You always are willing to stay with the kids so that we can go do something fun and i know that even though we worry about you not being able to come with us that you get such joy from um just taking care of the grandkids um which means also taking care of us so that we can have that break what i love about holly is that she 
is so concerned about everyone else that I think she forgets to think about herself a lot of the time. I've never heard her say anything bad about anybody and she's so positive all the time. Mom, if I could say anything to you, it would be that I want to be just like you. You help me with my kids, you help me with my life, you make me want to learn and grow and run and serve and all the things. Um, I think you're an amazing mother. And if I grew up to be just like you, that would be the perfect end to my life. I hope someday that I can emulate that quality that you have, just being able to put those I love, especially before myself and all things and do it joyfully. And um, anyway, I love that about you. When I think about my mom, <coughs> the first words that come to my mind are selfless and kind and loving and like she's my best friend in the world and I feel like I can tell her anything and I also feel like no matter what, um, no matter what I do, she'll always love me and I could probably do the worst thing in the world and she'll probably still love me. That makes me feel really good. And the thing is though, like, I could do whatever and she would still love me, but she's the kind of person that makes me want to do amazing things. And she's the kind of person who makes me want to, makes me want to push myself, become better. And she makes me want to love my family even more. And she makes me want to love my father in heaven even more. And she makes me want to be more Christ-like. So even though it doesn't matter what I do, she would still love me. She makes me want to do amazing things. and. I want to be just like her. It's funny having a mom who is more motherly than the mom that I grew up with. And I love my mom, but I love having you as another mom. And I've learned a lot from you, so thank you. Happy birthday! Happy birthday, Grandma! We love you! Go kiss!
something that I love about you is you tell everybody that we need to go and we need to get ready and you're still in like your sweats and whatever and you get everybody else ready first before you even like think about getting ready and then you get ready in like two minutes flat and run out the door.